Good morning, and welcome back to the Hush Life Vlog. I wanna to talk to you guys real quick about something that is very near and dear to my heart. I wanna start out by saying that I'm a very lucky and fortunate person. I have had many blessings in my life. First off, I have an absolutely gorgeous wife, four beautiful kids. See, Winston says hi. I have, I have in-laws, they're in-laws. I have absolutely amazing friends, and I have what I feel like is my dream job. I am able to create content that I am passionate about with two of my best friends and we share it with you guys. So everything sounds very hunky-dory, right? Well, true, for the most part. But with all those amazing things, human nature tends to allow us to look at one single thing that might be negative, and a lot of times that helps bring all those great, joyful things down. So if you were to look at your life, I'm sure you have one of these negative things. If it's your job, if it's a coworker, if it's student bills, if it's your weight, your health, your looks, I feel like almost everybody has something they are trying to get over. But I wanna talk about something that brings me down and it has for the last couple years. Yes, him. It's my weight, but more importantly, my overall health. Now, I've been a pretty active guy all my life. I played sports growing up. I was a semi-pro snowboarder for a few years in high school. I've been an avid hunter and fisherman, obviously, all my life. But what I've noticed is the last couple years, I've allowed this wonderful body that was given to me to kind of slip away, if you would. Now, I could try to blame that on a lot of bad decisions I've made in my life. But to keep it positive, I would like to blame it on the lack of good things I have failed to do for myself. So let me tell you a little story. About two and a half weeks ago, or more specifically, 18 days ago, we got home from a wonderful trip to Oregon with the Born and Raised crew where we experienced some absolutely wonderful times on the river, some amazing steelhead fishing. But when I got home, I felt tired. I felt like I had just went on a 10-day backcountry elk hunt and we were sitting in a boat for eight hours a day fishing. And so I took a real close and deep look at myself and I said, Case, what's going on, bud? And I decided that I have not been concentrating on my health nearly as much as a person should be, especially a person of the ripe old age of 36. From that day, I decided I wasn't gonna make these drastic changes. I was gonna make one small right decision every day. And in hopes that one right decision would create other good decisions. For the last 18 days, more or less, I have changed one thing about my daily routine. And that was what you saw me do early was I have started almost every day out for the last 18 days with a protein shake a Mountain Ops Ammo Shake. Now that doesn't seem like a giant change in my life, and it wasn't, but let me tell you what it did. Typically, I either get up and A, eat nothing, because I'm busy doing things, and I don't typically eat until two, three o'clock, whereas I'm starving, I eat bad food, and I eat like a complete horse. Or B, I wake up and immediately begin eating bad things, and I eat like a horse. People tell me both those things are wrong. So what I decided to do was just start my day out right. Wake up, get my kids to school, and then take my protein shake and just see where things went from there. Well, I wanna do a little test. 18 days ago when I got home from that trip and I was feeling tired and I was feeling sick and I was feeling pretty worthless, I weighed myself and I came to a conclusion. I was the absolute largest I have ever been in my life. But I wanna show you guys something and you guys are gonna experience this with me for the first time. I was 247 pounds. For a guy that's 5'10", and I do have a stockier build, that is a lot of extra weight. I would typically say my body is comfortable at 180 to 190 pounds. I wanna get on the scale for the first time in 18 days and see what has changed. You guys see that? You guys see that? That is 18 days of starting out changing one thing in my life that has led to some other smart decisions and I have lost exactly 10 pounds. Now that is very exciting for me 
because that is 10 pounds of this and water that I've taken, thrown away, and hopefully I never see it again. But I feel better and that's more important. I feel healthier, I feel like I sleep better, I'm more productive throughout the day, I'm happier, I'm not letting that negative thing affect all these other great things in my life, and I wanna continue on. And if you guys are struggling with that same little negative thing in your life, I want you guys to join me. So we, as the Hush Life, have decided to go on a journey together and that is the Mountain Ops 90 Day Challenge. Now what is the 90 Day Challenge? I'm gonna walk you real quick, step by step, what it is, how to sign up, and what you can expect out of it. Here we are at the Mountain Ops homepage. All you have to do is click this More button, go down to the 90 Day Challenge, and we're almost halfway there. So. We're gonna scroll down here. So basically the only things you need to do is do an initial weigh-in and take three photos and then sign up. So I'm gonna sign up right now. And then we come to a starting weight. So what you guys just saw was 237.5 was my starting weight. My goal weight. Where do I want to be in 90 days? But more importantly, where do I want to set my goal at being in 90 days? I said I, my body I feel is comfortable at 180 to 190 pounds, but can I lose 50 pounds in 90 days? I don't know, but I am gonna set my goal pretty high. I am gonna try to lose 40 pounds in 90 days. So if my math is correct, that is 197.0 five pounds is going to be my goal. Now, I've shared some uh, stuff maybe that I'm not too, I don't know, overly happy about, like my weight, but that's fine. It's, it's okay to be uncomfortable. I am gonna go take some pictures of myself, uh, very scantily dressed right now, for a before picture, and that's something I'm not gonna share with you right now. And just so you know, if you when you upload these pictures to the website, they're not public, no one sees them, they're not gonna go on, on a Jordan's uh, a personal account or anything like that. They're just stored in, in on the website, so you have some before and then you have some after pictures. What I think, what, what I think are super important for this 90 day challenge to see how far your body has come and see how far you've come as, as an individual. But I'm gonna go take those pictures real quick and then we're gonna upload them. So real quick update, if you guys wanna get super motivated about this, um, just go in the bathroom and uh, have your wife take pictures of you uh, with just a swimsuit on and then look through them really closely and uh, you're gonna get super stoked on this 90 day challenge because I just got really excited about doing this. All right, so I just uploaded my photos. So all you have to do, like I showed you real quick, is just sign up, get a starting weight, take three pictures, a front shot, a side shot, a back shot, upload those, hit submit, and you are signed up for the 90 day challenge. Now, I wanted to show you a couple things which are really cool about this 90 day challenge because I feel like with any diet or exercise program, I've always felt like maybe I didn't have all the necessary tools to be successful at that. I wanted to show you a few things here on the Mountain Ops website. So if you go to mountainops.com, hit that more button, and go down to Conquer Fitness, okay? It's gonna take you to this page. And what this page is, is everything you need to be successful in your transformation. We have Eric that has a three-stage program. If so, if you're looking to add some muscle, get lean. I think that's what Eric's going through here, but you can hit the program and go through that. Zach Griffith is here doing a uh, push pulk program. We've got Conquer Strength if you're looking to get a little stronger. Uh, so it talks about core here. There's videos for that. Or if you're looking to do some Conquer Weight Loss, which I'm going to do, you can hit this program. It's a six week program, three to five days a week. And look, it has day one, day two, day three, day four, day five, Monday, through Friday that you can go and do these videos with Matt, Mr. Matt Davis. You can stare at Matt and how handsome and great shape he is and he will help you get in great shape like himself. I feel like, and I've heard this said before, but diet is 90% of the way to lose weight, obviously. Your diet uh, is very important, even more important than working out. So look at they have here, they have meal plans. And this talks about what your target weight is. So if you're looking to hit 120, pounds, 129 pounds, you click on this and you go through and there is day one, 
morning through night of everything you should eat. Day two all the way through day seven. So it is a full week of a meal program that you can follow. And it's for all different sizes. That's 120 to 130 pounds all the way down to, if your target weight's 150 to 219 pounds. And this is something I'm gonna be following pretty close, but this is the breakfast for day one. And it goes through and it shows you exactly quantity, bagel, plain, one, half a cup of cottage cheese. It tells you exactly how much protein, carbs, fat, and calories are in that so you can keep track. But that's pretty pretty important, I feel like. Something I haven't said was is that this is completely free. You can sign up for this, follow all these programs, get your meal plan on the mountainops.com website, and it's completely free. You don't have to pay a dime. So like I said, diet is very important, exercise is important, but supplements will also help. And I just wanted to show you real quick uh, the Mountain Ops supplements I'm gonna be using for the next 90 days. It is the Conquer Weight Loss combo set it's on their website you can order the whole combo set for a month for two months or for the whole 90 days you can order it all at once and uh what it is it comes with ammo this is the shake i made this morning it comes with blaze pills which gives me a ton of energy it's an appetite suppressant um, multivitamins which are important renew which is great it kind of resets the body and then obviously ignite and also I'll use the enduro but ignite tigers blood guys is bomb so those are the products I'm gonna be using for the next 90 days to help me conquer my weight loss and transform my body to back to where I feel like it needs to be now I know there's gonna be people out there that are already gonna either a think this is super lame and it's just a way for us to sell mountain ops products I know there's gonna be people out there that are kind of on the fence that are like me yeah, I know I need to maybe get in a little better shape or I'd like to feel a little better but I don't know if that's what's for me and then there's gonna be people out there that are like Sweet, this is awesome. This is something that I can totally get on board with because you know what, Casey, there is this thing in my life that I'm not super happy about, but I want to change, and that's my health and that's my weight or whatever it is. But you know, what I can say to all three of you people is I am doing this, Eric is doing this, and Brian is doing this. And the reason why is because, guys, we just want to be better. I want to feel better, I want to be able to hike better, I want to be able to pack more meat, and I want to be able to enjoy all of that more. And that is why we're doing the 90 day challenge. The great thing about Hush is we are all three different body types. Brian is a little pencil. That guy can't gain weight. And there's a lot of you guys out there and I'm jealous of you sometimes. And then you got a guy like me on the other end of the spectrum that, man, I eat a brownie, that brownie packs on 30 pounds on my, on my gut. And then you got guys like Eric that's right in the middle that works his butt off to be in the best shape he can be. And while we're all gonna three gonna be going through this 90 day program, and I know there's people out there that, that can you know relate to each and every one of us. So whatever it might be, whatever you guys are looking to do in the next 90 days, jump on board, come on this adventure with us, and let's feel better. Let's, let's look better. It's almost bikini season, right? Look at all the good stuff, guys. That 90 days challenge has already started for me. So there's already a lot of people asking me, what do you eat during the 90 day challenge? And it's a good question because it is super important. Well, what you eat is the most important part of getting fit, getting healthy, and losing weight or building muscle, either or. What you put in your body is the most important thing. So there's workouts, there's supplementation, which we'll talk about. But overall, if you just eat healthy, you'll see the most results out of just eat, eating a healthy, balanced diet. So a lot of people ask me, what do I eat or what am I gonna do during these 90 days? So instead of telling you, I figured I'd show you. So I have all sorts of food. So we have vegetables, fats, carbs, proteins, and of course, supplements. I figured I'd just take a minute with you guys to just kind of go through each one and show you what I plan on doing. And if we have time, which I don't know, I gotta go down to Eagle Eye, well, I guess I better cook a meal. So we're gonna cook a meal, and I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I eat and what works for me. Again, everything we're saying, whether it's me, Casey, or Brian, this is all just what we're gonna do. Everybody's got such different goals. So we might be approaching this a little different, and this is just what I do. So let's start out with the foods I'm gonna be eating. These are my favorite, chocolate magnum. I use that in a post-workout shake. Ignite for energy, I use that on the mountain a lot or just day to day. This is my favorite product. It's a pre-workout, I'll take it about 20 minutes before I work out or sometimes during my warm-up cardio. Multivitamin, they just came out with these 
They're straight to mouth. They're like a pixie stick style multivitamin. These actually taste really good. So if you hate multivitamins in a pill, you don't like to swallow things, you will love the straight to mouth Mountain Ops vitamins. Moving on to proteins. I've read that sometimes when they compare different proteins, they consider the egg white. It scores 100%. The perfect protein is an egg white. Venison, elk, chicken, fish is all up there in the highest, leanest protein. So uh, clearly, since we're hunters, we're going to be eating a lot of game meat, which I'm excited about. So I've got elk roast, burger. This is deer, but I do no fat added to my deer burger and elk burger. Deer steaks, fish. We got some mahi, some snapper. These are fish I caught in Florida. When needed, like if I'm going hiking or something, I'll use packaged proteins like chicken breast, um, flake white albacore tuna, and honestly, sometimes I'll use the flavored ones. That's a lemon pepper chicken. Maybe dice up some vegetables. Even if it's canned vegetables, it's it's a pretty healthy alternative for when you're you know out in the mountains and on the go. I really prefer to eat oatmeal in the morning, so I do have maple and brown sugar packets. It's not the worst thing in the world, guys. This isn't like a contest prep. I'll eat one of these with my breakfast. If not, plain oats works great. Ready rice, simple, convenient form of carbs. Um, I get basmati, I get jasmine, I get whole grain brown. A little bit of everything when it comes to rice. And then for fats, I'll use avocados, you know, like guacamole, peanut butter in my protein shakes, almonds, and walnuts or cashews, anything like that. And then we got our fruits and veggies. You can see I go pretty light on the fruits. I'm missing some strawberries. I like to have some strawberries in my oatmeal, but limes, these are more for squeezing on meat for flavor. Bananas, which I use in my protein shakes. Yams, good form of carbs as well. Zucchini, asparagus, Brussels sprouts, and peppers. Those are my go-to vegetables. Greens are really good. Broccoli's great, cauliflower's good, green beans, things like that. And then I have a few miscellaneous items I just wanna show you. Sriracha, low calorie. It's great on meat, it's good on eggs. Low, zero calorie mustard, it's a go-to to save calories. Pickles. A good snack you can put them with your tuna and I use almond milk as a, another form of fat and yes I will use chocolate because it tastes so much better uh, so that's kind of the rundown of a lot of the foods I'm gonna eat so another question I get is how much I'm gonna cook a meal here with some elk steaks I do about six to seven ounces of steak and then I'm gonna do some rice that I have left over and I'm gonna do some zucchini and kinda of show you a rice bowl, one of my favorites. In the morning, my go-to is to get a pre-workout Yeti to make a Magnum post-recovery shake, throw that in the Yeti, and then I'm out the door to the gym. So, now that we've kinda of gone over some of that, let me, let's cook a meal. Let's uh, cook some elk steak. Let me show you what I got here. The key to a lot of this, guys, is uh, preparing. So the quote that I really love is failing to prepare is preparing to fail. So because of that I always try to have meat that's out. It's not frozen. It's always ready to go. This is elk steak cut up to smaller steaks and it's marinated with a little bit of olive oil and then just some seasonings. A little bit of both. Again guys this is nothing crazy but I do use salt. I use pepper. Sometimes spadel garlic, Montreal steak seasoning. Uh, I'll use a little bit of everything. Now as the months go on, personally, I might start cutting back on some of the sugars. We're always on the go, so we gotta make meals that are fast, easy, and convenient. So this is gonna be a elk steak rice bowl. I'm just gonna start with about, oh, that looked about five or six asparagus spears. I'm gonna chop up one zucchini. I like to do them in like two inch pieces at least into quarters sometimes smaller depending on the size of the zucchini all right we're going to take the zucchini throw them in this cast iron skillet we're just going to pan fry those in a little bit of olive oil right in the iron skillet and then i'm going to use the cast iron skillet for the steak i've been using them a lot mine probably clearly need to be seasoned <laughs> uh i should probably learn how to do that but I've got a bunch of them. I just got this new one. This is going to be like a camp one. Great for eggs or veggies. There we go. Time to cook the steaks. Now, these are been marinating for a couple days. There's already olive oil inside the elk marination bag. So I'm not going to add any to the 
cast iron just gonna throw a couple steaks on here goods are done we've got some elk steak here so I'm just gonna take it to the chopping board and uh, I'm gonna whip up a rice bowl and show you guys what I like to do we're gonna add some basmati rice we're gonna add some veggies and I'm gonna make one for now and one for later if you're really gonna follow through a lot of this meal plan stuff Tupperware is your best and worst friend best because you need it and worst because you have to wash them every day I do dishes all day unfortunately I don't have a dishwasher so I hand wash everything makes a lot of dishes but you're definitely gonna need some Tupperware whoa Ow, it's hot. Whoo! <laughs> Some steak. About half of the steak or so. Put the other half in my lunch for later. I wish I would have cooked a little more veggies because I love them. No veggie left behind here. Two healthy meals for me for my goals very well balanced I'm gonna throw in a little bit of sriracha and a little bit of soy sauce just for some flavor it's high in sodium but like I said I'm not too worried about that right now well there you go we're gonna sit down and enjoy this and the good news is everybody who shops at mountainops.com the entire month of April is automatically entered to win look at that you can win an elk hunt. They're doing a giveaway. Now, in addition to that, Hush is gonna have some giveaways as well throughout the 90 days. Everybody who uses the Hush code when they purchase Mountain Ops is automatically entered to win a Hoyt RX-1. Not only that, it also includes you to win the free elk hunt. Honestly, I cannot wait to see who takes this information, who runs with it, and who gets the craziest transformation. The good news is, as long as all of us are motivating each other, everybody's just living a happier, healthier lifestyle, and that's the end goal. Eric has talked about it. He's gone through all the directions, instructions, you name it. Casey has showed you how to register. I'll give you a little behind the scenes look at what I'm doing when it comes to the Mountain Ops 90 day challenge. This is kind of a back end of our blog and our website. Kind of going through what we hope to get out of this thing as individuals. If you hadn't noticed, pretty obvious, but we are built extremely differently between myself Eric and Casey. I think that's a good thing because it really can touch a wide group of people who have totally different goals in mind depending on what you're trying to accomplish. Some people might be trying to lose weight, some people might be trying to gain muscle, some people might be wanting to gain cardio endurance, stamina. Everybody has a different goal, uh, which is what's great about it. Getting a blog put together, um, you'll have seen the link to the blog, which might have led you to how you're watching this right here today. And then I'll show you and kind of give you an example of what I use. I have a completely different approach than what Casey has and certainly Eric has. Let me lead you into my cabinetry. So for starters, once you hit, hit 40 years of age, your wife buys you one of these. You might think to yourself, hmm, pretty sure my grandparents will use those right now. You would be correct. You get yourself a pill container that tells you what you should take every single day of the week after you hit 40. Here's kind of our little stash though. The Multi-Vs is, is an easy thing for me to take for sure. Ignite is probably my favorite product that they make. Pink Lemonade was number one, but I'm really digging the Tiger's Blood right now. Those are the two out of the gates. Every now and again, I'll have a protein shake or something, but that's generally not what I'm gonna take. I will, however, take the ammo. You do have to refrigerate this product once it's opened up, but this is gonna be your meal replacement. I have a very busy schedule. Oftentimes, make a mistake of skipping lunch, breakfast. Uh, those are probably the two that I skip the most. The ammo is a great way to just put in a, in a uh, shake form. So I like vanilla because you can go anywhere, anywhere from putting the peanut butter like that in there or you can go more like the fruit side of things. And in our freezer we have frozen berries pre-packaged. Huh, looks like my wife hit a Thin Mint in there too. That is how I'm going to approach this challenge because again, my goals are very different than Casey's goals which are very different from Eric's goals. I'm not really trying to lose weight or gain weight per se. For me, it's eating cleaner, so no thin mints, and kind of cardio endurance. So by the time that we hit our first hunts coming up in August, my goal is to be mid-season, end of season form. That is my main goal. I never want my endurance or lack of being in shape to impact any of my hunts. I wanna be able to maximize all my time that I'm out there, hike as many hills, deal with elevation, pack as much weight as I can handle, 
And for me, that's gonna be my goal is just to get back into a cleaner style of eating and then also starting to build up that endurance for hunting season. The hardest part is taking the first step. I'm gonna wrap up this blog. I'm gonna go eat some dinner that my wife just made and then I'm gonna start packing. We are heading to Italy. So help me out in the comments. Anybody that's ever been to Italy, we're going to Venice, Rome, and Florence. If there is a must hit place to eat or see or things to do, let me know in the comment section. I've never been to Italy. It's gonna be a fun time, um, something totally different that's not related to hunting or fishing, but I have a feeling a lot of you guys have been to Italy, 